Okay, well, here is another problem for time, rate, distance. I don't know why I said it in that order. Distance, rate, time. So let's get going. So we have two planes that leave Chicago at the same time. One is flying east at a speed of 550 miles per hour. The other flying west at a speed of 650 miles per hour. How long does it take for them to be 2,000 miles apart? So the first thing when solving these problems is we look at what is the question. Whoa, and I get some crazy movement on my pen. Let me just solidify that. Okay, so what is the question? There we go. So the question is, the, we want to find the time. We want to find time for both planes. Okay, that's what we're looking for. Now let's write down the facts of the problem. So the facts are we are leaving Chicago and one is flying east, so we have an east plane, and then we have a west plane. And we know that the east plane has a rate of 550 miles per hour, and the west plane has a rate of 650 miles per hour. Great. So we, if we look at the problem then, we got this fact. We got this fact, we got this fact, and we got that fact. Great. So my question is, how long will it take for them to be? So the distance, the total distance is 2,000 miles. Now, always on this problem, it's very important to make a diagram. Because the diagram will give us information about the distances that we're comparing. So remember, all of these problems, you're asking yourself, do the two motions add up to a number? Or are the two motions, the two distances, are they equal to one another? So here's the big city of Chicago, and one is going east. Here's my east plane, and then one is going west. And so now I'll label it. The east plane is 550 miles per hour, and the west plane is going a little faster, 650 miles per hour. So it's going to California. It's got some speed under it. And then we know the total distance will be 2,000. Okay, that's the key. We know that the distance for the east plane plus the distance flown by the westbound plane will equal 2,000. Once you've done that, you've comprehended the problem. So now we know that distance is rate multiplied by time. So the distance of the eastbound, the rate of the eastbound plane is 550 miles per hour. The rate of the westbound plane is 650 miles per hour. Now the time, what do we know about time? So we know that they both leave at the same time. So their time is equivalent. So we can let time represent both planes. So that wasn't very clearly stated. Let's erase that and redo that, okay? And this is what you should do on your paper too. So this will be time, oh boy. Your paper doesn't do that, though, does it? Time spent in air. OK. Now we just solve the problem. So this is going to be rate times time. Rate times time equals 2,000. Now we're reviewing our skills of the distributive property. So I have 550t plus 650t is equal to 2,000. So that's a total of 1,200t is equal to 2,000. Okay, I need to slide my page down a little bit. Okay, let me extend it. Woohoo! So now we know T will be 2,000 divided by 1,200. And let's reduce here. So I get 20 over 12. And then we can reduce that. We can divide by 4. So I get 5 thirds. Or it would be 1 and 2 thirds. Now what does that represent? That's the time spent in the air. So it would be one hour, and then we have to convert two-thirds into minutes. Well, two-thirds will convert to how many minutes out of 60? So multiply by 20, so that would be 40 minutes. So one hour and 40 minutes. Well, what's going on at one hour and 40 minutes? Make sure that you answer the question. So the question was, how long does it take them to be 2,000 miles apart? It takes them one hour and 40 minutes.